All right, the people have spoken and you guys wanna know where to shop for furniture in Hawaii. And I can tell you, I get this question a lot, but I have a little bit of experience. So I'm gonna to talk to you today about the best places to find furniture and some tricks of the trade of how to get furniture over to Hawaii, because that's the biggest struggle, right? We know that when you go to order it and then check out, the shipping is just as much or more than the freaking product. Let's talk about furniture shopping in Hawaii. Let's go. Okay, so a quick backstory, guys. Before I was a realtor, I was a home stager. And before I was a home stager, I was a furniture rental company for weddings and events. And so it was my job as an entrepreneur to find unique pieces of furniture and get them to the islands, which we know is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And it's not your average place to ship things. So just like Guam and Alaska, Hawaii is that place where it says, free shipping not included asterisk, right? Some tricks of the trade and where to shop. First thing I can tell you is the more in advance you can plan, the better. How I normally do this is I'll come up with a mood board of what exactly I'm looking for. So there's a little bit of a design piece in here and you can do this through Pinterest. You can do this through just an album of screenshots that you keep on your phone with like design inspo and you can just scroll through your photos. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. Also quick side tangent, we do our final inspection for our condo and we sign on Friday and we move in on the 14th. So I am in this space right now. I'm trying to find furniture for our own condo and the struggle is real. And I had a client that also just DM'd me asking, I need furniture for our house. Where the heck are you finding it? Because it's really hard. Once you're starting to shop in Hawaii and you're going to all the stores, it gets really frustrating because it's limited. That's just the bottom line, it's limited. And then once you find the thing that you like, they tell you, oh, it's back ordered three months or we'll put you on a wait list. Saturday we went shopping, we find a couch, right? It's in stock but the soonest delivery date is October 7th. What am I gonna do, just have no couch for a month? The struggle is real. And so number one, find a mood board or create a mood board, decide exactly what it is you're looking for. So when you go into a store or when you're browsing online, you have a plan of attack. You're not just being mind washed by all the options. You know, I'm looking for a brown leather sofa only, and then you have blinders on and you're just going in with the mission, okay? We're not looking at prices only, we're just looking at the brown sofas. Step number two is you gotta find out where to shop, right? So we don't have all the stores that the mainland has. Oh, let's name five real quick that we do have. So Ashley Home Store, Red Knot, that's like the, the big chain home world. And a lot of those things are available for special order if they're not physically on island yet. But they have great stuff online too, so you can start to get an idea before you actually go in the store. And number two is gonna be value. There's a Kapolei location and one in Kaka'ako. Really cool, trendy furniture, but that's definitely one you gotta go in and touch and feel and sit on the furniture. A lot of it's produced in Asia, and so it's not always the best quality, but you can sometimes find a good piece. Again, it's just you gotta go in and sit and feel it. Versus like Homeworld, Ashley, it's definitely more sturdy and it'll last you a couple of years. There was one chair I found in volume this weekend that was super nice and like leather and plush and cushy, but it was a thousand dollars for the chair. So I was like, oh, out of the budget. But again, just go in and sit on it. You never know. Third place that I like to look is obviously gonna be Target. Great bang for your buck, but quality is not necessarily the best, but I would say at least look at it for those trendy pieces. The accent chairs, the side tables, the coffee tables, sometimes the desks too, and definitely the picture frames. But Target always has new releases coming out. And so when I'm shopping at Target, I'm specifically looking for the brand. So I'll look Threshold only, or Studio McGee only, or Opal House only, and that helps me rain down my design vision. So I'm not getting overwhelmed with all the options because there's too many options. But something like Target, they actually partner with a lot of companies that are on Amazon, like Savavia and other ones too, that you wouldn't be able to get in the store. So Target Online has a lot more selection and they do ship free, Target ships free. So that's a big bonus. Let's talk about TJ Maxx right? Great resource for us. We all love a deal, but TJ Maxx isn't going to have your big ticket items. It's going to have a lot of your accent pieces. As much as the stores are great, online is better. And so everything that you see in the store plus more is going to be online and it does ship free to Hawaii. So I love looking at TJ Maxx for things like curtains and shoe benches. And again, those accent tables and things, definitely all the kitchen supplies, get it from TJ Maxx. It's going to be higher quality design and stuff, but at a budget price. So TJ Maxx is great. We do have Marshalls and Ross too, but it just feels a little bit more different discounty for me. I only go in there if I need a few things, but I love TJ Maxx for the quality. I think something people don't think about is Home Depot and Lowe's. Okay, great resource for furniture actually. They have a lot of stuff and online, it will ship free to Hawaii a lot of the time, but you won't know until you actually get to check out. So I usually just load up my cart with 20 items and then depending on the shipping, I'll kind of refine it down. But those are, I would say my top resources for furniture. If you find something that's not available on island, like it's a Crate and Barrel or a World Market or something like that, Ikea, 
that you really want to get to Hawaii, there's a couple of options. One would be to hire a third party service like ship to Hawaii. That's simply a third party shipper where it's going to ship to their warehouse. It's going to ship in the mainland free, right? So you can get it from wherever to California for free but then you just have to pay for the shipping from California to Oahu. And so what you'll do is you'll create an account with them and we'll definitely put the little link on the bottom here with the screen for you, but it's shipped to Hawaii. You're just gonna need to share with them the dimensions and the weight of each product. So once you go to checkout, just make sure you're clipping that information for them. Then they're gonna decide, does this all fit on one pallet or do we need multiple pallets? Do you need your own container? And you work with the sales ladies to kind of figure that out and become best friends with them because they also have some, some tricks for you. They'll say like, oh, let's try to put these two pieces on one pallet and then this one's sharing a pallet with somebody else. Or they'll say, oh mama, this is a half a, a half a storage container. Like you, it's cheaper for you to just get the whole container for yourself. But it's one of those things where just plan in advance, knowing you're gonna have shipping delays, knowing it's probably gonna take six to eight weeks to get here. It's one of those strength, those pain points of living in the Pacific Ocean. And then obviously use Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist but that does take hustle and it takes a little bit of extra grit to do that search every day and knowing that things are in demand. If you're looking for rattan pieces, like specifically, they go like hotcakes. And so you gotta be willing to drive wherever it is on the island to go pick up that table for 50 bucks, you know? But I think just be resourceful, that's the best thing. And Instagram is a great resource. I know a couple of influencers who will have like house sales on their Instagram stories and they'll say they're selling X, Y, and Z. You can snag them, you can snag really cool pieces. So for example, where we are right now, we're in a house that's staged and this is furniture that I all used to have that Christy now owns with Rome Rentals. I can tell you a lot of stuff is Target, but a lot of it is Etsy, Facebook Marketplace. This one is Volu. <laughs> this is Etsy, Etsy. And so just getting resourceful, just trying to figure out Again, going back to your mood board and trying to really rein in your vision so you're not overwhelmed. I'm always here to be a resource for you. Don't ever hesitate to DM me and say, hey, I'm struggling with design services. Like, I don't know what to do or what my look and feel is. I love helping out with that stuff. And I could just give you a five minute tangent on design if you have a question about it. So don't hesitate to reach out. It's a fun part for me and we will see you soon. Like and follow for more.